Shut the cannon, shut the cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. But today we are taking down the dragons. Woo -woo! And their wiggins prepare to be shot with a giant ice spike or something. Ice oh, spike? Yeah, ice spike. Yeah, it's like Game of Thrones, that's what they do. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, dragon. not really. No. Yeah, that was a real deep cut reference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bit, of, bit of a reference. Yeah, bit, oh, of, bit of a reference. I feel like we just okay. dove straight into the game today. Yeah, game on, game on. Ooh, uh, that was weird. Do we have settings on? Uh, I'm gonna score, maybe. Oh man, I oh, thought it was gonna so happen so close. fast. I thought it was gonna happen. It didn't. A normal 15 second score. What do you mean? Do we have settings on? Like weird well, settings? Well, yeah. Like it seemed like. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, right, maybe I'm just crazy. All right, never maybe mind. it's just been a while since you played. That's also possibly true. Let's have a question. Let's, let's yeah, have, have a, a let's question. Have a, let's have a nice bounce. Woo! So this comes from Tribute 92. Uh, he says, hey, non-pirates. No! Oh, no. Okay. What do you guys think of online dating? I have no idea where to meet people since graduating college. Or oh, actually, maybe it's a she? I'm not sure. Um, uh, my workplace is literally all women. My church group are full of guys, either too young or already taken. I don't drink or enjoy the bar scene, so those are kind of out of the question. My brother met someone through a free dating app. And they're not going on about seven months. She's really nice. But I'm not too sure about that because it feels like staying anonymous online is a little sketchy. But it's also the times, right? And my type is the sensitive nerdy type who would probably be on for the online dating thing. I'm just not sure I'm comfortable with it. Oh, man. Okay, so online dating, I feel like, is totally one of these things that once upon a time, I think the argument that it could have been sketchy would have been better than it is today. Would you guys agree with that? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Like, uh, I know when we were growing up, our mom was, like, terrified of internet stalkers. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But I mean, that was, I'm like, yeah, so they told, that's how they told you to be. Like, never put your real name out there. Now everyone's like, yeah, here's my fingerprint. I mean, my, I'm on my phone. <laughs> Some of my best friends I've met online. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Including us. Including everyone in this room. <laughs> yeah. That's Whoops. true. Okay. Someone put it in. Put it in. Oh, yeah. yeah. With the gold. Yes. Gold is the gold. I don't know how I got that gold. That doesn't seem right, but I'm going to take it anyway. There it is. <laughs> Were you parked when it hit you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Hound yeah. knocked it in. Hound. Classic. Um, oh, so you got the Game the of Thrones reference uh, totally holds up. Yeah. Okay. So, like, talking online dating versus, like, traditional dating, though, like, what would be the pros and cons to you guys? I mean... I never did any online dating. Basically, all of my dating took place in my high school years, and uh, I knew everyone in person. And uh, so I don't really have much uh, to say on that front, except I'm the only one married right now in this hey, room. Hey. So, so obviously, it's way better so, not to do so online dating. is your answer, <laughs> if you didn't meet your spouse in high school, well, it's too late for you. <laughs> That's basically oh. it. Are you out of high school? Too bad. <laughs> Love is not for you. Find a good hobby. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy your life Find in loneliness. Find a good hobby. All right, well, Adopt a lot no, of cats. No. Do, do, do not. No. Don't no. do that either. No. All right, Jake. Can I ask you from a functional basis, then, instead of a uh, more self-experience basis? Because I, too, have never actually... Uh, online dated? I find that so surprising. Well, I well, don't know. I mean, but like you met your current girlfriend like online, just not via like an online it specific was, dating site. It like, wasn't It wasn't a dating service, but we well, we, we had a class together in college uh -huh. and that is the reason why we were friends on Facebook. But sure. We never communicated uh, uh -huh. in person prior. So it was, that was that was the story of me and Alice. Right, was, right, uh, yeah. I, I waited online. on the teacher to call her name so that I could add her on Facebook. <laughs> that is so cute. Awesome. But see, that's that. Even that is like a cute story that you can do via uh, in-person dating, right? Right, right, right. Like, but, that's the one little story. Like, oh, I, uh, this is embarrassing, but I like I didn't know your name, so I was like kept hoping you'd raise your hand so I could figure it out and like. Oh, and Check that is so, Facebook. it so blurs the lines between cute and creepy. Oh, right. Like, yeah. It's so one that, of those things where so if true. she didn't want the attention, it's creepy. If it's she like, did, it's a funny anecdote to tell after you've already established. After it's worked. After right. it's, yeah, after you're yeah. already, yeah, after it's worked. <laughs> so at the very least, online dating, I think, offers this opportunity where everyone there has agreed that they're on, they're, that they are there on purpose. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, the thing um, with, yeah. That, yeah that's, wow. that's a solid point. <laughs> Um, whereas in person, it might just be a little less, it might be more ambiguous as to whether or not, but it's probably also really not that ambiguous in person either. Like it's, it's often a lot easier to read the situation. There's not like 
oh, what did this text message mean? Or this person, sure. I saw they read oh, the text, like me? but then they did not didn't. like me? Yeah. Does she only have professional interests? What's going on? Mm-hmm. Does she only have professional Or, I mean, I think no! so frequently the case up. out in the real world is you're going to find people uh, that may be out for completely different reasons. So, like, if if you, if I'm a guy at a bar and there are a, a group of girls there, it could be the case that one of them was going through, like, a breakup and the rest of them were there to be supportive girls. So, like, right. yeah, in sure. that particular instance, it's not the same thing as online dating where there's the, the agreed upon, we're both here for the same reason. Right. Uh, I mean, but I also think in online dating that being there for the same reason is not as common as you might think. Like, certainly when I well. were to, like, well, get I, a new match, uh, I would ask I would be surprised if the conversation of what are you looking for on this oh, site, app, whatever, doesn't come up within the first conversation oh, yeah. or two. Well, yeah, sure, sure but, at the, so, but at the same time, but like you're still there with like, may, maybe you're, some people are there for like short term commitments. Recreational. And some people are there for like, Longer term commitments, but everyone's still there for some amount of um, yeah. some interpretation of love. Whereas, like, you might not go out to the bar for Woo. that. Just uh, okay, so like, you are... can't be assumed that that's why you're out in public at all times, though. Whereas, is it can be assumed on like a dating site. So the other question there also becomes like, okay, so what is what is safer? Is it is it safer to be online or is it safer to be in person? Because I feel like so often when people think about dating, the generalized bar situation is what everyone thinks about, which does inherently seem a little less safe at times because right. for one, people aren't always in the clearest state of mind. Um, yeah, but I don't think I don't think that's the that's like the scene that always comes up. People are like, oh, I'm gonna meet someone at a bar, but like I don't really think that's as common as like I have never you, met like, someone at a bar. Normally, it's friend of a friend or at work. Like those are the yeah. most common places to meet people in right. person. Right, right. And right. in that regard, I think those are normally pretty safe. Mm-hmm. Right, because then you have the verification from yeah. um, from yeah, they're, they're like they're vetted, right? Trust, right? Yeah. The other main <laughs> advantage I think from like the dating in person thing is that you don't have this uh, like online shopping potential yes. going on. Oh, this is you know such I mean? a thing. Yes, 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 yes. Right. When you're shopping for a jacket is- online and you start going through and putting all the filters on your uh, purchase decision right. where you're like, I want it to be between this price and this price only in this color and only if it offers these features. Right. And you, you can't have tattoos. You can do this so <laughs> Wait, quickly. I'm attacked. I've been attacked. <laughs> <laughs> you can do this so quickly with online dating, though, where you have, like, these... No! Oh, oh my gosh. It's, it's it. like... When it got to five to two, I was like, whatever. But now it's five to four. I have like, missed like four shots. Oh, man. <laughs> oh I, uh, so I, th- I should have had that right there. Anyway, whatever. Good. So um, I think we can hold him off for nine seconds. Cross his fingers. I'm going to just gatekeep here. Yeah, definitely do that. I mean, uh, yeah, I totally understand that. So basically, you could be who meets most of your criteria, but might not be the. Mm. You know, in the right price range. Like what using if, the jacket analogy. Right. Like, what if she's a jacket, but she's a green jacket, and you didn't select green jackets, so she never would have been put in front of you. Mm-hmm. Right. And so all of a sudden, you know, you totally would have bought the green but jacket. But what if you didn't realize that it was a green jacket, only to discover that, you know, you have a green jacket and you like the green jacket anyway, but the green jacket doesn't work with any of your outfits. Sure. Oh, so you mean if she doesn't get along with her friends? Sure. That's the, yeah. yeah. So if, that's exactly, exactly, if there's some sort of exactly deal breaker, followed that, you... that exactly. <laughs> no, well, I think that's the thing though. Like you will, when you're going into these situations, define characteristics, uh, and this is where shopping is obviously different from humans, where you think certain characteristics could be a deal breaker, but then once you once you meet the person, it works. Then I think this is uh, time for my classic puzzle anal- or uh, metaphor. Okay. okay Whereas, okay. I th- here's how I would think of as, when you're online dating, what you are like setting the parameters for is to like finish the 100th piece of the 100 ben. Uh, oh, piece Bennett. puzzle that is you. Like you, you've already got 99 pieces in play and you are like, I, I will be complete with just this one last thing. I just have to set all these parameters and then find that missing puzzle piece. You mean you got 99 pieces? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but, but, but a significant other one. 
<laughs> exactly. I'm so happy with how it's working. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's exactly it. But no, you're absolutely right. You you are 100. percent You are assuming that you, the person, are already a complete. You just need to finish. Right. You just need to like finish your puzzle. But the way I think it really more uh, works is that like you you are not just completing your puzzle. But you are also part of their puzzle. Then and you're not each a hundred person. Uh, maybe maybe each of you are a like a hundred piece puzzle. But like together, you're like a thousand piece puzzle, and there's so many pieces you don't even know you're missing yet. The whole is I greater than the sum of its parts. Exactly. So I love it. Th so there you go. So like I think that's the danger of online dating is like eliminating all these things you think you don't like already, but you might just be like you just don't know. Whereas if you just met this person in person, then you like you might just like them for who they are and then as you discover things about them maybe you learn that you do like the things you might have eliminated online or something right mm -hmm. right you know what I mean? right okay okay so in my experience cuz uh, you know being new in town i probably have the most experience with online dating at least in the last month or two sure but um even though it's no! right now, can we probably know all of the people that yeah it, yep, firstly it is really hard to meet people who don't know who you are <laughs> uh, um, that, has, that has something to do with roanoke being a small town not because we are um c-list famous on the <laughs> internet <laughs> uh, fair um but i am very much of the mindset of moving to an in-person date and not like as quickly as possible like not necessarily that same day but if you are chatting with someone online and you have not made specific plans to meet up within a week, you are not going to meet up, unmatch, and move on. Oh, that, that's like a statistic thing, though, isn't it? Like, isn't that? Uh, I don't, don't. That might be no uh, statistics. Shoot. It's possible that I read that somewhere, but yeah. but certainly my my thoughts on it are like, nice. if I haven't already made plans to see this person, with, with minor exceptions. For example, like I remember matching with someone on a dating app while we were about to leave for VidCon, and I knew that I wasn't going to be around, and I'm like, yeah, j the next week and a half is, I'm, I'm going to be busy. I'm, I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be soon um, busy. And I did still end up meeting up with that person, but like, It didn't work out, so who avoided Right, yeah. it didn't end up working out anyway. Special um, circumstance. This, to me, though, sounds like it says more about, like, you than it does dating in general. Like, this sure. is your rule, but, like, uh, on to that end, obviously the person you're going to end up with, though, is going to be the kind of person that does meet up with you in a week. Yeah, but also I feel like it, so it a little bit gives some strength to what you're saying, Jay, with that, like, just meeting people in person will be better because how much can you actually know from just texting with someone or even if you're the type of person who actually makes phone calls these days. Oh, gosh. Um, oh, jeez. Who are those people? <laughs> who are those people? Talk about deal breakers. Do not try to call me on my phone. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> I had to buy this for phone calls. I'll tell exactly. you Exactly. <laughs> yep. This is a pocket computer that happens to make phone calls. I'm, right. I'm not here for phone calls. <laughs> it's, a, it's a weird <laughs> app. I don't this, know what's going on there. This is a peripheral it function. Default. It won't even let me delete it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get rid of the app. I don't know. Bloatware, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> How many non-telemarketer, non-business phone calls do you think you make or receive within a week? Me? Uh, uh, point one. Ben gets well, way more than most people I know, that's true. but I would say like ten. Did it non-business, non-telemarketer? Yeah. Like, like actually just to talk to people? Oh, um, I no. It's just I, my I wife calling to see what time I'm getting home. Uh, <laughs> um, right, right. At 4:59 today, you can rest assured that Jay's phone is ringing. <laughs> ben, are you gonna bend the bend? I'm gonna try. Ooh, he's gonna bend it. Oh, we <laughs> <bend. laughs> um, Okay, so then I feel like we've sort of made the obvious argument that like <clears throat> dating in person is great because you actually like get a better feel, like it's a more meaningful interaction with the person. Mm -hmm. um, Although... This person, they said they're like shy and nerdy and stuff. Right, right. So do, do we talk advantages to, uh, to <laughs> the old online dating? So or, I, or tactics? The ta oh man. Tactics. tactics. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about the tactics of online dating. Gosh, I, I, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys are no help. Uh, Make it up. <laughs> Make it up. There you go. Do as Here's I say, not gonna, as I do. Okay. Uh, Here's I mean, some online dating tactics you're going to want to do. First okay. of all, you're gonna want what kind? What are the three pictures you must have? Then you Ooh. think. What are the three? Yeah, like you gotta have the picture where you're like doing something. Uh, oh, okay. Like My, your, your physical activity. 
My big thing is that I think you it, it does need to be representative. Like, I think it would be frustrating to me if um, I was trying to match with a girl and let's say they oh, had a picture on. of them doing a Spartan race. Sure. Uh, and other <laughs> things, and then they don't do it. Like, they did one once because their friend talked them into it. It's like, that's not a characteristic of you. That's a thing you did once. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I think, personally, I would try to be as honest as humanly possible uh, with the old, um, what is the... Wow. Is that gonna go in? That oh is. my god. What a weird pinch. Yeah, that was under promise over deliver sort of thing. And, and that's not to like over. undersell yourself. <clears throat> it just means don't oversell yourself. Mm. Oh. Like be honest with your photos. Yes. Yeah, I would yeah, say yeah. no group photos. Group oh photos? my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's no. definitely no group photos. Definitely no group Context photos. Context dependent perhaps? Nope, nope, no group photos. Really? I, I'm with not, that one. Yeah. Like Yeah, no, absolutely not. Also, there's just so frequently you see somebody in like the first photo and it's two people and you're like, no, nope. nope. and then it's not that person that you liked. Yeah. That's frustrating. It's like, can I, can I swipe it's on like, you yeah, so like, I can meet that friend? Yeah. I would like to picture? meet your friend actually. Um, yeah, right. Sorry. Woo -hoo. Boop, boop, boop. That's the problem you're going to run into is that people are going to, uh, possibly. So you probably need to be like cautious, just even in terms of your own expectations, I think is a big thing where it's like, oh, you need shoot. to go into it sort of with great. the anticipation that Oh. Uh, that that could be in play because not everybody's gonna play by that rule. Everybody's gonna try to make themselves look as adventurous and fun as you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's like rules of of everything. Yeah, um, I feel like the bare minimum photos are a good one of your face, unobstructed, <laughs> a good one of your whole person, sure. and doing something that represents you. Yes. Whether it's being playing board games with people or that sounds like a group photo. Mm, not necessarily. <laughs> Just get somebody to take a really good picture of you holding dice. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that either. <laughs> don't don't think of it like you're playing a board game by yourself. Um, the other thing is maybe don't overthink your bio. I know that I've heard a lot oh, of my friends my try to like think of a super, super, super clever bio. It's like, I think that's something where your pictures are probably going to be doing a lot of the talking. I don't know, man. I've definitely swiped on people that I wouldn't swipe on because of their bio. No Same. way. Yeah, really? Literally. Okay, yes. well, I'm totally oh, wrong then. And, and like, you, you, you know one of these people and we can discuss it later. Okay, I can't wait. Yeah. Can't wait. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Woo! Yeah, it, it, your bio doesn't have to be the most clever Woo. thing ever, but put some effort into it. Right, right, right. Uh, the other thing would maybe be, you are not what your job is necessarily. I know that like a lot of people- mm, Very easy to identify this yeah. way. Oh, could yeah. we do it? Do it, 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 it, do it, do it, That should have been it. Guys, I have to go get my hair cut. It's been great. These guys will close out with you. Oh, there you go, there you go. Thanks, Ben. Oh, I can say that Ben definitely lost that argument, whatever we were arguing about before. The answer is, I think, ultimately, if you, uh, if there's nothing wrong with online dating. Uh, if, if you want to try it out, just, you know, uh, be careful and uh, be honest about the pictures you put up and uh, I don't know, I haven't done much online dating. I feel like <laughs> someone else should be talking, you no, two. I, no, I, I agree. I mean, uh, I think that for what it sounded like the person that like had some sort of qualms mm -hmm. about online dating in that they thought it wasn't a regular thing. If oh. anything, meeting somebody in person now is just I, more irregular. I do think, yeah, I think online dating is extremely normal. It's extremely accepted. And if you want to try it, go for it. My, uh, Ben and I's younger brother, Tyler, met his wife on a dating app. Yep. Um, and not even one that, just on a free dating app. So yeah, um, it's... It's totally, totally fine and legit, and if people are judging you for it, then I, that's just stupid. And they're ignorant, is <laughs> my thoughts on the matter. Thank you guys so much for liking and commenting and subscribing to the channel. If you have any uh, questions or need advice on anything at all, let us know down in the towel section below. But until next time, Chudley Cannons, Chudley Cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates.